tech tycoon and presidential hopeful Terry Goh met KMT chairman Wu Duoni today for talks on the party's primary. After the meeting, Goh told reporters he had made three requests. One of them was for all the KMT's presidential prospects, including Gao Shongmei and Guo Yu, to compete in the official primary process. Go told reporters that he was flatly opposed to running as vice president on Ham's ticket. Go arrived today with one of his trademark ROC flag caps. It was his gift for the KMT's chairman. <laughs> <laughs> After a two-day delay, the two finally sat down for talks. Two weeks ago, Kaohsiung Mayor Han's meeting with the KMT's chair had lasted only half an hour. Today, Go and Wu spoke for over an hour on three main points. First, I want every candidate to run in the primary. My second point was on the primary procedures and incorporating mobile phone polling in the primary. I also recommended taking into account the latest mobile phone polling regulations of the DPP. Third, with regard to the primary process, I insist that Party Central hold a policy presentation event for the candidates. Go flatly rejected the prospect of running on Han's ticket as vice president. I am not a suitable candidate for deputy because I'm used to making the decisions. First of all, being a deputy would not match my personality because in the past few decades I have been the commander-in-chief. It's been me making the decisions, not giving advice. Secondly, I have the most expertise when it comes to economic matters. At the post-summit press conference, Kaohsiung City official Yang Chou-shing was present. Yang has reportedly served a key role in Go's campaign, organizing the candidate's itinerary in central and southern Taiwan. As Go sets off in the 2020 race, he has quickly put his political team in place.